Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's Two Minutes of Anatomy lesson, I'm going to speak about the long thoracic nerve. The long thoracic nerve is the motor innervation to the serratus anterior muscle. The long thoracic nerve arises from the anterior rami of cervical nerve roots C5, C6, and C7. It travels in between the clavicle and the first rib through the axilla along the chest wall. It's fairly subcutaneous to innervate the serratus anterior muscle. The serratus anterior muscle is the only muscle that is innervated by the long thoracic nerve. The long thoracic nerve does not have any area where it is the sensory innervation. The long thoracic nerve, like I said, arises from the anterior rami of the three cervical vertebrae, C5, C6, and C7, and travels all the way down to innervate the serratus anterior muscle. So it is a fairly long nerve. On most people, it is between 20 to 22 centimeters long, which is about eight to eight and a half inches. An entrapment or impingement of the long thoracic nerve can show as a winging of the scapula in the inferior angle of the scapula. That is the medial inferior angle of the scapula. So what happens is that area starts to stick out and it becomes worse when we perform shoulder flexion. So shoulder flexion could make winging of the scapula worse if that winging is caused by entrapment of the long thoracic nerve. 